This is my MindNode review. MindNode is a mind mapping tool for Mac. And in this video, I'm going to walk through the features of MindNode. Then I'll put the software to the test and I'll give you a quick demo so you can see how MindNode works. Then I'll cover the pros and the cons, the good stuff and the bad stuff. And then as a bonus, I'm going to give you a free resource for great training for MindNode. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video in case you need a recap. Okay, let's do this. So here we are at the MindNode website, and as MindNode put it, MindNode makes brainstorming easy, fast, and stunning. Our powerful features let you capture what's on your mind without getting in your way. So far, so good. Outlining is one of the features of MindNode, and not many mind mapping tools have this feature. This enables you to brainstorm in an organized, structured method. And the cool thing is that as well as using one or the other, you can actually outline and mind map at the same time. Visual tags enable you to categorize and add more context to your thoughts. This feature is particularly powerful when you're working with large mind maps. Quick entry is a pretty unique feature that I haven't seen before on a mind mapping tool. You can very quickly enter notes into MindNode and then convert those notes to mind map format. Now I know that mind mapping is supposed to replace note taking, but note taking for most of us is a lifetime habit. And sometimes you may prefer to use notes for whatever reason. So I think it's a nice feature. It gives you the best of both worlds. The cool thing is that you get an icon on your top bar. You just click that, you open up the notes panel and away you go. Now, as MindNode is a Mac app, it integrates with Apple's Tasks app. This means that you can create a mind map with tasks and actually cross those off as you go. As MindNode put it, you can easily sync your shopping lists, research deadlines or weekend plans with the Apple Reminders app and tick off what's done. Focus mode is another feature of MindNode, and this is a feature that I see quite often in my mapping tools. Essentially, you get a full screen so that you can blot out any distractions when you're working on your mind map. Just don't have your TV on in the background. MindNode comes with themes, and as they put it, they are beautiful out of the box. You have a bunch of pre-made, lovely looking templates in the library that you can choose from, so you don't have to start your mind map from scratch. And now we get to the eye candy with stickers. MindNode have designed over 250 stickers to help you add clarity to your mind map. And as you can see from this graphic, stickers or icons if you prefer, really do take your mind map to the next level. And if that wasn't enough, you can adjust each sticker or icon to fit the color of your branch. Talk about branding. And there's more. You can actually use a sticker search to find a particular sticker. That's a brilliant feature, especially if you're working with huge mind maps. MindNode has a smart layout, which I actually love. And what this means is that every node automatically adjusts so that it's always evenly spaced and you get a consistent look and feel to your mind maps. As you brainstorm and add information to your nodes, or even as you slip in nodes, your mind map adjusts automatically. And if you happen to have an iPhone, you don't need a touch away from your mind maps. Other noteworthy features include dark mode, external screen support if you're one of those people for whom one screen just isn't enough, customizable panels. Now, this is impressive, you can actually customize your action panels to display the actions that you use most. Nice touch. If you happen to be on iCloud, then you can sync your mind maps to iCloud. And when it comes to sharing, you can export your mind maps to text, rich text, doc, CSV, PDF, image, and many more formats. Okay, so now let's put the software to the test and let's see what it can do. So here I have a blank screen and it's actually full screen. So I'm going to right click and create a new main node. I'm going to call this plan. Okay, I'm going to click on it and just move it around to the center. Now you'll notice that you have a blue dot here. I can hover my mouse cursor over it and it will turn into a crosshair. And you can see that if I hold my mouse down and pull, I can actually modify the size of this node. So let's put it back to something reasonable. Now you'll notice also that if I hover my mouse cursor, a plus sign appears. If I click on that plus sign, a branch appears. So let's call this node Monday. Let's hit enter and that seals the text into the bubble. I'm now going to hit enter on my keyboard and this opens up a sibling node of Monday or if you like a child node of plan. So let's call this Tuesday. I hit enter, enter again, and let's repeat for all the days of the week. Note that the smart nodes space themselves as I type and note the color scheme. It's actually very nice. Now I'm going to click on the top node and I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. This opens up a new node, which I'm going to call AM. I hit enter, enter again, 
p.m. and enter to seal the text. Now let's repeat for the rest of the days of the week and you'll notice that I'm using my navigation keys to navigate between nodes. Okay, so that's that done. Now I'm going to use my mouse track to just move this to the center and I'm going to use my mouse track now to zoom out. You'll see that I can make this really small and note how fluid this is. I can have a huge mind map and zoom in and out very fluidly. That's one thing that I really like about MindNode. So let's zoom back in and position this back to the center. And let me show you the next thing that I think is really cool with MindNode. I'm going to right click the canvas somewhere random and create a new main node. I'm going to call this Goals. Now this is a completely separate node and you'll notice that it doesn't snap to the nearest node and it doesn't snap to any grid. I can click the Goals node and move it around very fluidly and in fact I can put it very very close to any of the nodes in the main mind map and it doesn't snap to anything. That's fantastic. One thing that really frustrates me is when I need a separate node and I can't place it anywhere near my main mind map because it snaps to the nearest thing. Now that said, I can actually click this node and drop it into another mind node and it will automatically snap. So I just dropped the goals node into Monday and it became a child node of Monday. Now I can right click the mind node and click detach from the context menu and that will detach the node. And notice how the smart nodes automatically rearrange themselves to always keep that consistent look. That's really nice to work with. One thing worth mentioning is that you can have as many separate nodes as you want. And as you saw before, you can right click on a node and bring up a context menu from which you can see which actions actually belong to the plus plan. Now, let me just mention that this was one of my favorite features of my node, the connect option. This is now a plus feature, but it used to be available in the free version of my node back in the day when I used to use it very often. Connect enables you to connect one node to another using an arrow. And I used to use this feature to create flowcharts, which is not usually an easy thing to do with a mind mapping tool. Something else you can do, which is very handy with large mind maps is fold nodes. So let me select these other nodes and hit backspace to delete them. And you'll notice that you have three dots here next to the main node. I can click on those anytime and open up all the nodes. And on that note, you can fold individual nodes or a group of nodes, which is handy if you're working on a particular area of your mind map and you want zero distractions. Okay, let's talk about pricing. When it comes to pricing, MindNode comes in two flavors, the free version and MindNode Plus, which will set you back $2.49 a month or $19.99 a year. With the free version of MindNode, you can create and edit nodes, fold and reorganize nodes, import and export mind maps, and view your mind maps as an outline. With MindNode Plus, you get all that plus the ability to use the outliner. You get visual tags, focus mode, quick entry, the ability to add images and stickers, create nodes, cross connect nodes, turn nodes into tasks, and you also get access to the themes and styling options, as well as customizable panels and file links. Okay, so now let's talk about the pros and the cons, and let's start with the bad stuff. The free version of MindNode is great, but it feels a bit limited without those great features, without even the ability to add images or stickers. Now, one of the pros of MindNode is that the Plus version is actually very cheap. $19.99 a year for a mind mapping tool is actually quite reasonable. So as it turns out, the con is really not that bad. Also, it depends on how you want to use this mind mapping tool. If all you need are very simple mind maps, then MindNode Free is up to the job. Now, on the other hand, if you're creating mind maps to impress somebody else, whether it's a client or your boss, then MindNode Plus is definitely worth the investment. $19.99 a year gets you 200 plus free stickers that can really help you beautify your mind map. And that could be the difference between getting the deal and not getting the deal. Now, the pros of the software is that it really is very nice and fluid to work with. It feels great, it looks good, and as I mentioned before, it's very cheap. And now for the bonus, I promised you a free resource of training. This training goes deeper into MindNode and especially some of the things you can do with MindNode Plus. The training is great and I'll put a link to it in the description below this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of MindNode and join me on my quest to find the best mind mapping tool. Sub and I'll see you in the next video.